Hello and welcome to this tutorial in Premiere Pro. I'm Luisa Winters. We left it last time where we had trimmed the heads and the tails of some of these clips and we also learned some navigational shortcuts like play, pause, JK and L and that sort of thing. Now I would like to continue with the editing of these clips. Let's get to it. I'm going to place my playhead at the beginning of this sequence and I'm going to zoom in and I'm just going to scrub this a little bit. And I can already see that this clip is a little too long. If I want to check out the duration of this clip, I can always select it and I can tell the duration simply by looking at where it starts and where it ends. This one starts at time code 00, and if I press the down arrow, it goes to time code 607. So this particular clip is 6 seconds and 7 frames, Maybe I just want it to be five seconds. So I can trim this a number of ways. For example, I can place this exactly at five seconds and I can scrub it, or I can click on this number here and I can type 500. Zero, zero. So five seconds, zero frames, and it's going to move my playhead exactly to that time code number. Now, if I press the letter W, well, that clip is now exactly five seconds long. Now, imagine that I want for the next clip to be exactly five seconds long. If I play it, well, you know, I'll press the down arrow. Notice that this one is 1421. So this particular clip is nine seconds and 21 frames. Obviously, all I have to do is deduct five from the 1421. So I now need to decide if I want to trim the heads or the tails. Now, I want you to notice that I can't see the end of the second clip. When I click on it, it gets highlighted and I can clearly see the beginning, but not the end. I can use my mouse scroll wheel or I can click and drag so that I can see both the beginning and the end. So I'm clicking and dragging on this particular bar down here. I am using the mouse scroll wheel while pressing and holding the command key. And do you see how my view moves left or right depending on whether I'm mouse scrolling up or down? As you can see, I can now see the entire highlighted clip. And if I press my down arrow here, it takes me to 1421. So that tells me that this clip is exactly 9 seconds and 21 frames. Of course, you deduct 5 seconds from that, and obviously you get 921. I want to trim this clip so that it is exactly 5 seconds, and I can do that simply by tapping some numbers. But first, let's decide if I want to trim the heads or the tails. So now I'm going to go back to the beginning, and I'm going to scrub this. And I'm scrubbing the entire clip. And I like how this jet ski is essing over there, so I think I want to trim the heads. So I'm going to place my playhead at the edit point, so it takes my playhead to exactly five seconds. And I want to add to that four seconds and 21 frames. And I can do that either by moving the playhead manually, scrubbing the timeline, or by typing some numbers. I'm going to type some numbers. And this is how that's done. I'm going to click on this number here, and now the plus 421, my playhead is now at exactly 9 seconds and 21 frames. All I have to do is use my shortcut now, which is the letter Q, and the clip will be trimmed. Q, and done. Now, this clip is also five seconds long. You can navigate the timeline a number of ways. Up arrow, down arrow, left and right arrows. You can use J, K, and L. You can also type numbers in this location right here, and that will move the playhead to whatever time code number you typed. I'm going to use the down arrow, and it takes me to 929. Now, I'm going to go forward in my timeline, and I want to see the duration of the following clip. This clip ends at time code number 1705, which of course means that it's a little bit longer than I wanted, 
if I want all of my clips to be exactly five seconds. I don't, so this time I'm just going to scrub the timeline. And I want to trim a little bit from the beginning. See that little pan down? I'm going to get rid of that, so the letter Q. And I also want to trim a little bit from the end, maybe here, and the letter W. Super convenient, right? But now let's imagine for a second that I made a mistake. I trimmed too much. And now it's next week, and I actually don't have undos left, because I could undo right now, but let's imagine that's not an option. I would like to actually make this clip longer. And notice that if I click and drag to make this clip longer, I can't do it. And the reason for that is because, well, I have another clip in the way here. So I need to be able to move all of the clips that I have to the right of the edit that I want to do, I need to be able to move all of those to the right to make room for the extra frames that I want to add here. And I can do that a number of ways. Let me do it the hard way first. So I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to select these clips and I'm going to move them to the right. Now I'm going to zoom in to this particular clip Oh yeah, I missed it by one. Let me move that one to the right. And I wanna place my playhead at the end of this particular clip and now I can make it longer and look at what the program panel is giving me. It's giving me some time code numbers here. Look at this. So I'm gonna do it visually. It's actually showing me the end frame of that clip and maybe I wanna end it right here. And now if I press the down arrow, I go to, oh yeah, it's at 1927. So from 1411 to 1927, and now I can delete that gap and everything goes back to normal, right? Oof, that just takes way too long. So I'm going to undo a couple of times. I just wanted you to know what it is that I wanted to do. Now, instead of moving all of those clips to the right, I want to make the clip longer and move the clips to the right at the same time. That way I don't have to do double the work. I'm going to press and hold my command key, that's control on Windows. And I want you to notice that the, the tool that is being used, you know, those brackets, is changing color. It's going from red to yellow. Look at this. When it looks yellow, like so, I can click and drag. And let's say I wanted to end somewhere around here. Release the mouse button first, then the keyboard modifier. And it moves all of the clips to the right for me so that I don't have to do double the work. This is what's known as a ripple edit. Ripple edit. And you can also use it to make the clips shorter, but quite frankly, for that, we have the wonderful W or Q, for example. Q, W. So we've used that quite a bit. Trim heads, trim tails, super important. Let's do it once more. I'm going to trim this clip here, Q, and here, W. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. Press and hold the command key. My tool turns yellow, and now I'm going to make that clip longer, and it pushes everybody else to the right. All right, that takes us to the end of this tutorial. Don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.